Hi guys and welcome back to Clearview Driving. My name is Amon and today I'm doing another driving lesson with Millie. Now up to today we've done about 15 hours or so and today's lesson we're going to be learning how to... Sorry, <laughs> kind of a bit crazy there. Okay, so um, today's lesson we're going to be learning how to parallel park. Now we've already gone over um, all the references and how this manoeuvre is going to be done but I'm just going to give you a quick overview. And then the first attempt will be where I'm going to completely talk you through it, tell you exactly what your references are, maybe even a little pause so you can see it, and then go again. And as we go along, I'm going to cut down my instruction, and hopefully the aim is, by the end of this lesson, you can parallel park on your own and know exactly how you're doing it. Okay. If you enjoy watching these videos, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to follow along with the journey. Okay, um, so just quickly to overview what we're doing here. We're going to use the car in front and we're going to go over alongside them into the road nice and parallel and we're going to start slightly closer than our normal position okay once you're there we're going to hop into reverse gear and do all our checks starting from the far right all around until the back window behind me this way okay now the first reference is going to be to get the cars level so the little window we're going to wait until that car disappears okay the whole maneuver is on clutch control so focus more on the control of the car than anything else and you'll have time to do the rest now as you're reversing back when the car disappears out the back window we're going to turn left as you're going back make sure you're checking over your right blind spot but when you reach about a 45 degree angle in the road we're going to turn right okay then we're going to head straight back and use the left hand mirror and kind of lean across and when the back tire gets very close to the pavement we're going to turn right again okay okay and that should bring you back to the position that we're in now and then you just need to bring the tires back to that straight position by steering left will it Bring us back to a lot closer. We're going to be a lot, lot, yeah. lot closer. We're going to be a little bit closer to the car than we so are. So you now. first of all want me literally ne next to that car. Yeah. So we're okay. going to start next to the car in the road, nice and straight. Okay. Okay. So let's get started now. So we're on a dead end road, so not a lot of traffic will be coming through this way. It's only mostly cyclists that we're going to be worried about. Yeah. Okay. okay. So when you're ready, just move off as normal. Okay. Should we signal? Yeah. Mhm. Mm Good, and keep the clutch quite low and just bring it in close a little bit. Yeah, keep going forward. Oh, okay, sorry. A little left if you can, a bit more. And then straighten up the wheel. So oh, you want okay. to start nice and straight. Okay. Okay, now into reverse gear. Start there. There you go. Okay. All right, so start your observation over your right blind spot now. So checking right, then the right mirror, then ahead and top, and then left. And then left window behind me, and then out the back window. Move your right foot across. And keep looking at the back for this last, uh, this first bit, sorry. Yeah. Now clutch up just a tiny bit yeah. and keep the clutch quite low for this exercise. Clutch down brake here. Yeah. So we're nearly near our first reference. So I'm just gonna get you to stop at each of the references for the first one. So in that little window here, yeah. can you still see that car? Yeah. Okay, so move your right foot across, okay. looking at the back. Now move ever so slowly. Okay. When the car disappears, you're gonna turn left. So clutch down a bit and turn left now. Okay. Good turn. You can look at the wheel if you need to. Okay. Just do one quick 360. There you go. Now look the other way to make sure no one's there. Yeah. And then keep going slowly back now. Okay. Just focus on keeping that clutch close to the biting point yeah. with this. Well, I'm way too keep, close. No, you're not. You're not. Don't worry. Keep it going. Okay. We're good. Now look in front, Millie. Yeah. 45 is about here, so just turn right. That's it. Now go slow. Okay. Just clutch down brake for a second. Okay. Now we're going to look at the next reference, and this is the tricky one. Using that mirror there. If you lean to the left towards me, now can you see that triangle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We need to reverse back until that triangle disappears. Okay. So when it disappears, you're going to steer right okay. towards you. Okay? So before we start reversing, we're going to check all around again. So okay. just look behind you. Yeah. Can okay, you see him? Cyclist, yeah. yeah, well done. Just now he's got plenty of space, but yeah. just keep an eye on him. Okay. Brilliant. Good. Now after he's passed. Yeah. Good, now looking behind and looking in that left mirror now and yeah. just head back slowly. Okay. This is where the camera is going to speed you up a little bit, so keep it slow. That's it. Good, keep that clutch quite low, but keep yeah. going. We want it okay. to disappear. Yeah. It hasn't gone yet, so lean to the left more with your body. Yeah. There you go, slowly. Is it gone? Turn right. Sorry, I feel it's like okay. I'm going too fast. Yeah, it's that, the camber, isn't yeah. it? So keep going back slowly now. Now just look around to your right mm -hmm. and then out the back window here. Mm -hmm. and just keep going slowly now wait for the car to be straight you don't even need to look okay. here you, you can see it in front 
So keep going slowly. Yeah. When you're nice and straight, just turn the wheel back. Is it just like that? Yeah, towards me. Yeah. Fully. Oh, fully, yeah. And there you go, clutch down brake. Okay. Now take the gear out. Oh, I never, so do I go back? So to take okay. it out, you simply just go forward. Just, oh, okay, so, so it's just forward and then it's... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Try it again. So take the gear out. There you go. Okay. <laughs> and then handbrake. And just switch off the engine for a second. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So for a first attempt, how was that? Um, it felt okay. I get um, now that we've done it. I get what you mean more by the references and everything like that. Yeah. So now let's just assess how we've parked a little bit. So we've got good space in front. Were yeah. you concerned about hitting that car at any point? Um, when I was like at the very yeah, beginning. Very, yeah, literally going around the because we're always talking about like leaving space and yeah. like, stuff. So it's just <laughs> the racket going around the corner. Yeah. So with the with the first reference, it will feel a bit close. But yeah. remember, your front is swinging out and your tail's going away. So we're actually moving back the whole time. Yeah. We're not spinning on the spot. Yeah. So that's why you won't hit the car. Okay. But you can see it in the left hand mirror. If you were going to hit the car, that gap will completely close. Yeah. Okay. And you could you couldn't even see the car at yeah. first. All right. The angle was that okay? Um. I think so because you got me to stop before yeah. I got too far around. It's a bit tricky with the angle here because yeah. the, the other road is kind of intersecting but yeah. if the road was straight it would have been a little bit easier but let's say that street lamp, the black one here, that's yeah. about the angle. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Alright, that left mirror here, how much space have you got there now? Quite a lot. Quite actually, a lot. So yeah. I'm going to show you here opening the door. Yeah. There you go. Quite a lot. <laughs> okay. So we've got a bit of space now. How do we close that space on the way in? Um, what reference is it? Uh, is it going to be the angle or is it going to be the triangle the reference? Triangle, the triangle, yeah. So the triangle reference was actually a bit too early. I, I think it's because I'm just not leaning over and I think yes. it's gone because I'm down like this. So That's exactly just, yeah. it. So to get really really close, you have to lean across and just lift your head up. And it's yeah. difficult because you're sitting on the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But yeah, looks pretty good. Let's okay. go again. Now, just, just before we go again, sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to do that again. One thing we're going to focus on this time round is trying to keep the clutch closer to the biting points. Because okay. last time you kind of get to the biting yeah. point and then you go right the way back down. Yeah, because I, I just then I felt like I was going faster, so I think I just need to. Yeah, keep it have, around the biting point. Yeah. But if it goes too fast, clutch down and brake. Brake. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's start again. Okay. All right. Brilliant. So again, we're close this time. So nice yeah. clutch control on the way out, and a signal as well. Just looking at that right mirror and blind spot again. Good, keep that clutch down. Clutch down. Oh, sorry. Close up. Wait. We've gone a bit far away. <laughs> sorry. Far. Okay, now why did it go so fast? Because I took the clutch up and I. The clutch was yeah. high. Okay, so we're going to come in a little bit closer. Okay. okay, so when you're ready, we're going to start the exercise now. So we've, we've gone a little bit closer now. Okay. When you're ready, let's reverse okay. back. There you go. Mm -hmm. okay. So really slow, every time you get to your reference you're going to squeeze yeah. the clutch down, so squeeze it down a tiny bit, okay. tell me when it disappears and we're going to steer left, okay, so steer left yeah. now, quickly, and look the other way, good, and keep the clutch low, look in front, yeah. coming up to 45, yeah just here, yeah and so there. turn it, Look out the back window here and just stop for, lip for this one. Okay. Good, because this is the key one that we want to work the on. Okay. So we're going to move slow okay. until that closes. No, no, no. Okay. Clutch down brake. Okay. If you start turning, you're going to pull the car away from the I'm going to go further, yeah. So okay. we need to keep the wheel as it is until we okay. get to that reference. Okay? So just do I'm your checks again. Yeah. Okay. Good. Well done. And then just head straight back slowly does it no turning the wheel okay. whatsoever lean to the left more really mm -hmm. there you go let it disappear okay is it gone yet yeah it's gone okay now turn right quickly there you go now look over your shoulder mm -hmm. and then this way again don't don't, don't, don't oh, turn sorry, the wheel sorry. wait for the car to be straight okay keep going yeah. a bit more wait for the car to be fully straight okay. and then bring it back now okay. clutch down brake there you go so kill the still so far from it. Okay. okay, so that's the same reference again. Yeah. 
So you're not letting that left mirror get close enough. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Another thing um, to focus on this time round, as you're doing this exercise with your with your steering, you need to be a little bit strict. So it needs to be a complete turn. Okay. So if these turns are a little bit sharper, we wouldn't have as much space in front. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So okay. be a bit more strict with how much you're steering. Okay. Okay. Now let's yeah. go again. Because we're hidden behind the car, we definitely yeah. need to signal. Good, now clutch down and bring it closer. Good, you can look at the car if you like, yeah. just to gauge your distance. And then look forward. Okay. Do no you want to go forward a bit? Or? No, it doesn't, no, okay. doesn't have to be perfect. All right, when you're ready, okay. let's begin. So we're going to try and turn one every time. And you can look at the steering wheel to know where one is okay. if you want to. Okay? Right, so, so just try again. Good, okay, is it there? Yeah. Look at the steering wheel, do one towards me. Okay. Quickly turn one. There you go. Now look the other way. Good. Now looking in front for the angle. Yep, yeah, turn one again. Now clutch down, brake. This is the one where you need to okay. close. Okay. So you're gonna lean you're gonna lean to the left more, but you're not going to steer. Okay. So let's go back. Let that reference really close up the back a bit more. So go slow. Yep. Okay, now turn towards you quickly quickly there you go clutch down and then okay. move again with clutch control okay now keep oh, going like, I know it looks too close here but just keep yeah. going slowly keep going really slow and when the car feels straight just a little, yeah, yeah and now turn it back quickly clutch down brake okay yeah stop there for a minute yeah okay um, let's go into... brilliant um, do you want me to? Yeah, handbrake. Okay, yeah. Oops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and switch off the engine for a second. Okay, so we're definitely parked a lot nicer yeah. now, aren't we? Yeah. Okay, I want to just show you the space here. So, the front tyre probably has about that much space, okay. but the back tyre did touch the pavement. Yeah, that's what I could feel you it. Could feel it, it yeah. Okay. okay, so when the back tyre touches, you need to go forward. Okay. Okay? But, um, why did it touch? I let it go too close. Too close. <laughs> so I think you were about to turn left at yeah. that point, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just make sure you close the gap and then turn towards you as okay. much as you need. Okay? okay. But yeah, it's definitely better. The, okay, the first half. The, balance in between. the first half was really good. Yeah. It was the second half that you need a bit more work on. Okay. So let's go again. Okay. Alright, so when you're ready, get next to the car in the road to begin. That's very nice. So okay. just go forward a bit more. Yep. And then straighten up the okay. wheel. Always start with the wheel straight to reverse back. Okay. All right. Do you want to give this one a go on your own? Yeah. I'll okay. Attempt. So, yeah. I don't know. Now, if you want, halfway through the exercise, if you want to have a little pause and go I again. I might pause at that point. Yeah. Um, yeah. Probably best. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So when you're ready, on your own. I'm not saying anything this time. Okay. for a minute mm -hmm. with this steering wheel at the angle yeah you haven't straightened up okay. yet so just so, do the uh, rest just do the rest it's fine just like that there again. you go yeah okay make sure you definitely straighten up at this point so again okay. <laughs> I've lost my What happened? I've gone too close. To You've gone too yeah, close I'm now. I'm going to go forward. Again. Yes, we're going to go right. forward. 
the best thing to do at this point is just look over your shoulder first. Mm -hmm. Just go back to that 45 degree angle. Okay. So just let the car go back and then straighten up the wheel at that angle. Okay, right. Just turn the wheel back. Don't, don't think too much about where. I feel like I'm so confused where the wheel is. Just move a little bit and okay. you'll figure out where it is. Turn it so that the wheel is facing forward. Like there you go, and stop there. Okay. The tyres, sorry, are facing forward. Yeah, okay. There you go. And when you're ready, let's go again. Yeah, definitely don't miss the reference. Yeah. So just lean okay. left. When it's there, just turn it. The distance is fine. I know that feels like it's yeah. far away, but we've got we've got less than a drain's gap there. Okay. Okay? Yeah. But yeah, it's just that particular reference is tricky. Yeah. The first half is really good. Remember okay. to always straighten the wheel to make sure it's one. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's the reference we need to go slowly with. Okay. Alright, let's go again. I'm gonna guide you at that one. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm gonna tell you when to turn. Yeah. <laughs> I think the first bit is just not as bad and then this bit I never know. You're doing really well with your uh, control on the first half and even the looking around you're kind of looking over yeah. your shoulders every each of your references so that's nice. Okay. So all the way to the beginning when you're ready. Okay. Cool. Good and then just squeeze the clutch down and turn it all the way because you don't need to lift the clutch yeah. to move again you just kind of use the momentum. So come closer to the car. Okay. Yeah, just go forward a bit more. Okay. There you go. Alright, when you're ready, let's begin. So do the first half on your own. Stop that. Oh, sorry if that is the wrong way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter. We haven't exactly missed the reference. Okay. So when you're ready, it's left, okay. right, right. Okay. Good. Have you straightened up the wheel? Um, just going like that. There you yeah. go. Good. Now we're going to go slowly and we're really going to close the gap and lean to the left as well so okay. with your body come across mm -hmm. to the left a little bit now go slow yeah. let that gap close mm -hmm. okay it's just about now yeah keep going a bit more and now turn it okay just one turn if you turn more it pulls it away too much okay. as well so just keep going watching that left mirror again mm -hmm. leaning to the left good and then and back. yeah Okay, so this time what we're going to do is we're going to use this grey car, mm -hmm. but on the opposite side we have a parked car level with us. Now at this point it's really important when you go into the road that you're closer to the, the car that you're parking with, mm -hmm. so that when you start turning you don't hit on the opposite okay. side when you're at that angle. Okay, But the road we're on is pretty wide, yeah. so even if you're centre it won't be that big a concern, but okay. we're going to keep an eye on that car also. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And remember with the clutch, every time you're near your reference point you're going to Squeeze it and then turn. Okay. All right, ready? Yeah. All right, begin. So this time, completely independent. Okay. You know each of your references. Good. Look from left to right if you're moving into the road, okay. by the way. So just go from left to right quickly. Good, we want to start closer, okay. remember? Good, keep going forward a bit more. Okay. And look straight and make sure the car is straight. Okay? Okay. Alright, on your own, nice and independent. Okay. Do I have to 
turn it again here. This is more. Yeah. Again, back. Yeah. Okay. Good. Brilliant. Okay. <laughs> that was really good. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. Okay, just that halfway through where you yeah, were Yeah, it was just me. like, I need to remember that I need to go back to straight. And also, yeah, because yeah. the thing is, if we don't turn at that angle, you're going to keep going as yeah. if you were reversing. And then I would literally. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so we never want to go beyond 45. Okay. We definitely want to turn at 45. Okay, should we go one more attempt yeah. without anything? Because that was really good. And you can see here, look at that. I can't see, but I can see in the mirror a little bit. Yeah, so you've literally yeah, yeah. got about that much space. Yeah. So it's a really good park. And you need to, I suppose you need to leave some space. You can't have the tyres. Like, it doesn't matter if your tyres okay. are touching. It okay. depends on the width of the road, how you park. Okay. But you want to always aim to have a, like, under a drain width. Okay. So yeah, when you're ready. Okay, yeah. Last attempt. We might go practice uh, between two cars after this okay. if you want. <laughs> oh yeah, go from this way. No, that's okay. okay. We're okay. slightly at an angle. Yeah, that's what I turned too early before I didn't get straight with the car. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So the very last reference. Okay. Okay, that time around control wise, very happy with it. Steering's really nice, but your observation was a little bit weaker that time. Okay. Because at the very beginning you've looked around. But didn't look in the mirrors when I was moving off. Yeah. Around. So your angle, you're not you're not looking over into the road as you're reversing, so okay. you need to definitely do that check. Okay. okay. Brilliant, that's fine there. Okay. okay, so we've had a few attempts at this manoeuvre now. Um, one over there with nobody really behind you and now between two cars mm -hmm. as well. How are you feeling about this manoeuvre? It's not too bad, I just, it's just the last bit that I struggle with more, I think. Just or make sure... Bit, a little bit with the angle, but... Yeah, just make sure when you're parking between two cars that you do it slowly. But if it's just with no one really behind you, focus on getting it really slow with that last one. But yeah. for a first attempt, what first day driving yeah. and doing a parallel park yeah. you did really well um there was only i think maybe one attempt where you tried to turn the wrong way yeah, yeah. generally was, uh, you had the sequence down quite yeah. well um, i'm really happy with the clutch control side of things it's really good yeah but we will continue with this maneuver and over time the aim is going to be to try and park between two cars and not be worried about any of your references yeah. okay okay i'm going to leave it there Okay, so that's the end of our driving lesson today. Um, next lesson, we'll continue with this manoeuvre and get back to more of the main roads and dual yeah. carriageways and things like that. But thank you for everyone that's been watching. If you do um, enjoy watching these videos, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and follow along with the journey. Bye-bye.